production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. This is Tales of Heroes video replay review episode number 64 for February 19th, 2008. The rest of the rest. Tales of Heroes is brought to you by viewers like you. Thanks for your donations. Yes, welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here on the Game Fire Network, www.gamefire.com. If you haven't already figured it out, what map are we on? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is Rails and Metal right here. And uh, this is going to be, you know, we had the best of the best last week. Well, we've got the rest of the rest here. And to join, of course, me being the rest and the rest also joining me here today, I am Adam Bridger Ruzo, and with me is Sam Rogers Forrester. Welcome again, Sam. Thanks again, Bridger. It's a privilege to be here and I'm looking forward to this great game on rails and metal it's a 2.201 game so it's classic retail the thing that we all know fear hate loathe and dread so let's just see if let's see what interesting things come out of this I'm looking forward to it I say things when I click them okay enough of my short attention span let's jump right in at the five second mark we are five four three Two, one, unpause. There we go. So we do have a double Wehrmacht versus an American and a British. The Americans are pulling up a barracks first thing, and the British are pulling up... What are the British pulling up first? The British are pulling out a lieutenant first, which is pretty common in most team games, and especially in 1v1s, because they get that fast capping power out there. Most likely he might end up moving his truck to a uh, medium resource point after he gets his lieutenant out, and then probably another infantry section. I, however, am partial to the double infantry section start, followed by either moving my vehicle or uh, getting the lieutenant out and then moving it. So we'll see how this goes. And we've got a double pioneer start, triple pioneer start for quadruple. Okay, we got Pio spamming coming from the right hand uh, Ver player. And we got a double pioneer from the northern, or triple, and quad. Oh my god. All right, so here's the first pioneer interacting with the British recon squad. Out on the right hand side. Let's see what happens. Looks like they're going to go for a trench in uh, not too bad of a spot. We'll give them coverage of the victory point there. And now the pioneers are trying to stop it because while it's building, it's very damaged. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! The race back into the building and the pioneers lose that one. There it goes. There's a little building swap for you. Yeah. New redecorating for the allies. <laughs> it's like, ha-ha! We baited you out and you fell for it, you jerks. And, we have an early uh, bunker coming up. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's real early. Um, and it looks like, I don't know, I guess they wanted to cover that strat point and just that general area. It's, it's, I don't, I feel like it's not a really great spot because it doesn't provide a whole lot of usefulness. It doesn't cover the VP, it doesn't cover this VP, it doesn't cover anything but a strat point. Which, yeah. you know, if, if it had been farther forward, to the left a little bit, it would have been able to cover that VP. If they were going to do anything interesting with it, throw a machine gun in there, whatever. But as it stands, it's just going to be, you know, right next to two other pieces of heavy cover. So it's not like they did a whole lot for putting a machine gun in there. You know, they could have put the machine gun, you know, in front of that truck, or behind the truck, rather, and it would have done the same thing. Yeah, I agree with you there. Um, I think that... If the British couldn't build a mortar emplacement, then that bunker would probably end up being a good idea. But since the British player sergeant is already putting up a mortar emplacement, that is definitely going to take out that bunker. It just KO'd their whole little strategy there. And uh, since it seems like the Wehrmacht is pumping out MGs, that's also going to counter the MGs too. So mortar emplacement for the win. I, I, that's just all you have to say about it. Yeah, it'd be nice... I don't know, mortar, early mortar emplacements are really, really difficult to deal with. Um, and especially in 2v2s when you can have cover from an American player who goes WSC, for example, to uh, prevent any kind of flamer pyos or anything else getting close to the mortar. Um, I mean, that thing is... I, I at first thought it was actually only, a, you know, um, something like 120 degree directional when I first was playing the beta way back. 
And then I realized later on, oh my god, it's 360 degrees, you gotta be kidding me. This thing is ridiculously useful. And uh, so at this point, it's just going to obliterate anything and everything in its path. It probably includes that machine gun and that bunker are both going down really early unless they can, you know, capitalize on on, on destroying it. But all they have is pioneers and machine guns as far as I can tell, and that's not going to take out a mortar. Yeah, they're, they're in a bit of a tough spot right now. The Allies were a lot more cautious and they have a lot more combat units in the field. And uh, interestingly enough, the British player still has his HQ by his strat point and he's pumping out his tier 2 truck, so a very early tier 2 truck is coming out. And uh, so we might see an early steward or early uh, captain, That's really that could really be devastating. They're about to lose a Pio squad, unfortunately. It was a good little flank, but he just didn't yeah. have enough support there to take out the mortar emplacement, that's a pity. I'm, I'm just surprised at how long it takes a pioneer squad to kill that mortar emplacement. He's just sitting there for like the whole time you're talking, 30 seconds or so, he got it down to half health. I mean, yeah. I wish it was treated more like a garrisonable building, That's whereby true. it would continue to stay on fire, for example, after you caught it on fire. So, you know, it would just continue to, to do damage over time for a specific amount of time. And that would yeah. make it much more, you know, delicate than it is right now. And right now, it's pretty much impossible. Yeah, that's very true. Interesting flank set up here by the Axis with the machine guns. I think that's really kind of a clever idea to um, force the Allies to react. Oh! To that because what happened? One machine, one mortar killed the whole machine oh, saw, gun crew okay, there. I see that now. That's, that's too bad. Well, at least emplacements can't gain veterancy, right? Yeah. Except that the captain actually does do something like that. But now there comes that's another squad came in. To, uh, to try and flame it again, but completely forced off. Great teamwork by the American and British player, uh, the engineers repairing the uh, mortar emplacement. That's really, I'm surprised how fast it's repairing too. That's quite quickly. Yeah. The engineers do have the three guys though. Mm -hmm. That's true. Meanwhile, we do have an interesting setup on the right hand side here. We've got a uh, heavy machine gun and a sniper. It's a good little combo there. Yeah, but not when, uh... Not, Not when you got a mortar, no. The mortar's <laughs> just gonna s destroy any kind of Wehrmacht setup short of mass Volks Grenadiers. Yeah, that would've been an interesting thing to see, but I don't think it would've worked. What, what, what I think the Axis players need to do right now is they, well, they have an MG in the building right now, so there's a WSC up by the American player, that's interesting, but uh, I think what the, the Axis players need to do right now is combine arms, because they've just been sending individual Pio squads in there against a decently fortified position that just isn't going to cut it the american and uh, british player are working very well together in terms of just how they support each other with combat units and uh, how they repair each other's structures and we need to see some more of that from the Wehrmacht player because he, they're both hurting right now with that mortar emplacement yeah so far uh, only the vp on the very far left has been taken um and it's been uh, slowly draining the american points and it looks like we've got a nice machine gun set up in the middle that is no longer inside the mortar's range. So it's just going to be able to do as much damage as it wants over here. And it's, so far it's killed one, two, three, four. Wow. Wow, that's, that's pretty actually, pretty that nice good, setup. Oh, we've got a regular idea. mortar. The Americans have brought up a regular mortar, which is mobile. And uh, which is going to be able to force that machine gun... Did it just the die? Fuel point in the middle. Yeah, it got killed. They were. He was trying to move it, but a mortar went straight through the building and blew him up. Oh, okay. So, oh, I see now. It looked like it we was have outside a captain the building up before. right now, and a quick steward is coming out as well. Um, I think they're really going to use that to push the axis back, probably on the right hand side, because that's where they do have a little strong point. Interesting it's position of a medic bunker there. Um, I don't know how much that's going to help them. I guess they're they're hoping to keep the fighting centralized there. But uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Oh, trying to two shot the captain here. Oh, or sorry, yeah, lieutenant. It three shots, I'm pretty three sure. Three shot him. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't look like he's at quite 50%. But here comes the mortar, which is the problem. He's got to get his sniper over there ASAP. Otherwise, he's going to lose a machine gun and the uh, bunker, too. Here comes the headquarters truck. It moved up finally. Yeah, it did. That was a really interesting delayed move on that headquarters truck. I really liked that idea because it allowed him to 
just completely focus on the front lines instead of microing his little big bus around. And although they did hit, take a little uh, additional hit in resources early game, that sniper is about to go down. Yeah. In a hail of gunfire. Look at the captain's like, I'm gonna take you down, boy. Look at that mob of infantry. Colt that pistol. is just something no axe player wants to see. That no, especially not sitting next to their bunker. Yeah. Oh, there's a machine gun gonna head into that bunker. That's that's gonna spell oh. all of that. But we got flamethrowers. That's gonna spell Half doom. Being harassed by a Stuart light tank just above the middle of VP. Rifle grenades are up as well. That's really a uh, smart thing to do. That's gonna help them uh, counter just about anything. We actually have tier three up by the um, by the yeah. one of the Vermont players. That's interesting. One went tier two, one went tier three. That's good teamwork right there. You want to see that from Vermont players in two v twos. So I want to see a Goliath right now, personally, on that bunker. <laughs> just drive it right into all that infantry. That would be awesome, actually. Yeah. I don't know that they would be able to stop it fast enough. I mean, they're pretty dang close, but I don't think that's going to happen. But a nice flamer inside could do the trick, too. And That's good. That's key eh. holding off that. Wow, there's a full reinforcement. Or still, bleh, full retreat. Meanwhile, the steward is unfortunately not really being utilized. It's just sort of chilling over there. Oh, he's killing the bunker with it, but it's yeah. not doing a whole lot of damage. Well, that's interesting. I like this. Um, he had two sapper squads waiting by the field HQ, and now he's retreating him to the captain to get him to the front line faster. I like that. That's good use of the captain retreat ability yep. right there. Yep. Especially because that, well that means that means his his field support truck is way back in the back, giving him the extra. Mm -hmm. He's on a munitions point, it looks like. Yeah. Which is odd, because there's another munitions point up here that he could be taking, but I guess he doesn't want to risk it, because they're putting so much on the right-hand side, they wouldn't have much to defend on the left. And here comes a Puma, upgrading with the main gun there. That could spell that's, trouble that's for the uh, Stuart. Wow, that did no da basically no damage. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it was a front shot, though. That's true, still. And it is a light tank versus an armored car. It is no, but the 50 millimeter gun is considerably bigger than what the Stuart has. So, well, it's only a 30 millimeter cannon, I think. The upgrade? No, it's a 50 millimeter. I'm pretty sure. Are you sure? sure? Yeah. yeah. I remember it being 30. Oh well. I think you pay 50 munitions for it too. I'm not quite sure. I remember it. Maybe it's even 75. What do you think about the delayed movement of his HQ truck, Bridger? Um. Not really. Would you do that personally, or would you just get that thing on a fuel point no, as soon as possible? No, I mean, especially in a two v two, it's just, it's it's very important for your out uh, for your ally to get that on a point, because that went from you know it's now at plus eighteen, I believe, if we look here. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, plus eighteen. So going from plus ten to plus eighteen, you know, three three minutes earlier would have given you you know an extra twenty some odd fuel. Yeah. Which means it's just, you know, three minutes earlier to your first Stuart, three minutes earlier to whatever. That's true, I suppose. I just think it's interesting I mean, three to minutes, see that. We already have a Stug up, that spells bad news, but actually they have two Piot squads, so I think it's, they're gonna do just fine in this engagement. Look at that. Wow! Advantage. Whoa! <laughs> when the Piots hit, they do hit, holy crap. Mm -hmm. And that MG is just not suppressing at all. That is very it's, surprising. It is extra long range, though. Yeah, that's true. But that's odd. There's, it looks like this this squad was suppressed for like 10 minutes before it actually started Excellent getting on the ground. Excellent use of that Flammenwerfer half-track. Yeah. Look at those bodies burn. Wow, very nice use of fire against the British. Excellent work right there by the Germans delaying that that uh, major offensive there. Really well played. Yeah, forced a full retreat, got the Stuart too, baited it to try and follow the uh, Stug. That was very nicely done. A lot of bunkers coming up, but I, I, I think one of the players has gone defensive, hasn't he? Uh, yes, and we are actually, uh, we've got registered artillery coming down. Here it is. Interesting. Unfortunately, he didn't kill anything, though, but he used it as more of a deterrent to get those units out of there and stop being such a pain in his ass at the moment. Yeah. That was, that was a good idea. We have an M3 half-track up, actually, and a Greyhound, so the motor pool, in addition to a 57mm AT gun, so the motor pool is being used to great effect right now, and I guess he's just massing for an attack right now, the calm before the storm. Look at all that British infantry. That is... <laughs> he hasn't really lost of, anything. 
Nope, he hasn't. And he's got dual veterans. Well, one of no, he has two lieutenants. Wow, officer stacking is absolutely brutal. If you're up against it, you never want to be up against that. Yeah, a lot of the times. Man, oh, oh here we come. There's the Nebel. But where is it coming this down? Somewhere in the, the middle? Oh, it's coming on the mortar uh, yeah. emplacement at the... And of course it's going to do nothing. Yeah, of course not. Even if it gets a main hit on the mortar, it doesn't really do much damage. Well, it did burn a tree down, Bridger, in its defense. We it did burn some out. trees down. I mean, I mean Yes, you gotta... and that is going to help the war effort. <laughs> Interesting little two-pronged push yeah, here. You see in this, the American units are on the left-hand side, and the British are concentrating on the right, keeping the pressure up. Even the American player seems to be doing uh, the scouting role here and leaving the rest of the heavy combat up to the Brits. I like this teamwork here, because the Americans are faster, and uh, they, they make for better and cheaper scouting units than the British do. So I'm, I'm definitely enjoying this play here so far. Do we have any veterans see up? I don't think so. Um, I know the KKC just came up. Yeah, I don't see any no. KKC for for the first Vermont player scout. For the second, yeah, scout. Scout. scout it, uh, second, yeah, you're right. The enemy is our and it looks like the uh, the allies are really taking this whole right hand side now. Definitely, definitely. We have rangers on the field from uh, P Pierret. <laughs> Pierret. I'll just call him Pierre. Sorry. <laughs> just make it simpler. And we also have commandos Whoa. chosen a little while ago. Greyhound trying to engage a 50 millimeter. Whoa! Upgrade. Damaged engine. I think that was a mortar dropping. I think that was. Yeah. But where? A lot of British infantry coming in. Dual officer support. So they're going to do double the. All the bonuses that they get, the defensive bonuses. Nice button on that Puma. Well but I done. think he Let's moved it because it just seemed to immediately come out of the button. He must have moved yeah, the that, squad that by was, accident. That was kind of awful. Yeah, he must have moved uh, the Bren squad. Pack 50 uh, millimeter AT gun up, and the tier three truck is out for the British, so they're gonna we're gonna see some Cromwells and probably Fireflies soon enough. They defended the fatherland until death. They are attacking secure territory. It's too bad that that Puma's upgraded. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, insta kills the the Nebel the really there. Can't, that shouldn't be able to happen. That's really lame. I don't. I'm not a fan of that personally. Well, now that, we've got uh, a squad that says they're a Nebel Warfare squad, but they're actually just a commando squad because the Nebel Warfare is trapped underneath the hulk of the. Uh, Oh dear, oh dear. He, uh -oh. Needs to, he should lead the uh, the glider wreck. I think he can do that. No, not the uh, wreck. But. They're getting really close to that Vermont base, but now he's pulling back. They did tons of damage, oh, though. Yeah, that's true. Uh, he probably can't move that Nebel squad. It's probably just stuck there. His captain's yeah, all yeah. alone. He missed his captain. Oh. He's in trouble. He's getting hit by a machine gun. And nice block on the retreat, but... Yep. The Flammenwerfer isn't paying attention. Oh no! Oh no! He could go all the way! Oh no! Nice. A simple flying bullet randomly pierces his... Oh, and then a tr tank runs him over. Okay. It was either going to be a bullet or the, the, the Stug would run over him, guaranteed. Yeah. The Neville crew is on fire now. They're burning to death. Great use of that Flammenwerfer half-track, though. I have not seen use like that in a long time. Yeah, it's surprising he's kept it alive for so long. Yeah, definitely. It only has four kills, but he's definitely used it to push the British infantry off the field more than once. I'd really like to see some over-repair on these allied light vehicles. That would really be nice, because uh, an over-repaired Greyhound and an over-repaired quad can really be something that annoys the hell out of any Vermont player. Looks like we got probably coming down in the middle again. I don't know exactly what he was going after. Probably... Just to He's trying to kill guess. that mortar emplacement, but it was probably just off a little bit. Oh wow! The axis seems to be solidifying the north. Look at that Ranger squad, almost obliterated by uh, registered artillery there on the left. Oh wow! Jeez. He doesn't have enough for another registered. Uh, he was gonna say he might by the time it's done, but I don't know if he's gonna be able to use it. Might be too late. Yeah, they really need to open as many munitions points as they can. 
if they want to use... Oh, we have an officer on the field, actually, Bridger. That's surprising. Are we going to see him used to any benefit, or is that little Luger just going to do absolutely nothing? We'll have to see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look out. Here comes here comes the massive British push. Horde. Yeah, the British Horde, indeed. Well, We've this got... is beginning to look a lot like World War One, personally. <laughs> or Russian Front, anyway. Yeah. Oh, nice drop on the Neville. Right on the retreat path. Ooh. That's well done. He's got one, two of them, at least three. That retreat. Yeah, he's going to have to heal them up at the casualty clearing. So far, so good. Here comes the Grenadiers with Vet 1 now. Trying to chase down a 57mm anti tank very gun. Low very low health. He needs to be very careful with them. Good retreat. Good retreat right there. Yeah, you had to. We actually have a Panzer IV up, but it's not going to be up for very long. <laughs> it's almost KO'd, and it's out. It's down on yeah. the right hand side. Man, those AT, wow, those American AT. Oh, he's out of control. He killed the Sapper Squad almost. That was definitely surprising. That was killer disco mode. Yeah, no kidding. The kind where you explode at the end. <laughs> <laughs> no, the kind where you explode other things at the end. <laughs> We've actually got a bunker with, uh, with the repair, repair station, station upgrade. Yeah. Ah, excellent. And also a medic bunker up as well. Yeah. Uh, tier 4 up from the second Vermont player. So dual tier 4. I don't know if they have the fuel to really capitalize that effectively on it, though. Do they, Bridger? Uh, not really, but I mean... Yeah. They've only got they 5 the... less... or Well, 10 less than their opponents. Unless That's you true. count their op uh, point that... Well, no, but they have their own plus 10 op so it just costs them resources. We have another Cromwell building right now, so it looks like we're going to see a heavy Cromwell presence in this game, and those things are just brutal. They're basically sniper tanks for infantry. Yeah. That's basically the Cromwells are. They're insanely accurate. Ah, but we do have an 88 going up really, really far back, but uh, we do have an 88. Definitely like the sound of that. And what is that? Is that... Did they capture an MG42? I think they did. I think they did, yeah. I thought at first it might have been one of the uh, the commando squads. Oh yeah, but they don't have the H gun. glider out. You know, one thing I'd personally like to see in terms of um, rebalancing the Royal Commando thread would be to have the HQ glider out first. Maybe first or second in the tree, instead of being the very last ability. I think it comes too late, honestly. I tend to, to agree. Very, yeah. That was a great 88 hit right there on that Cromwell. Oh wow, yeah. Almost I think it must have got twice two hits there, though. No, I think it was taking damage from something else. Uh, the Grenadier Squad, most likely. Here comes another Nebel Barrage, potentially on the uh, any tank gun, which does have a level of veterancy after killing that. It's hit the horror, Oh, though. whoa, whoa! That uh, almost destroyed this engineer. Damage. He's gonna kill a flamer engineer. Nice work yep. there. There it is. Finished him off. That mortar emplacement's still alive, Ridger. <laughs> oh my god, did a Nebel just kill that... What was that, an M8? That was an M8, yeah. I heard a huge crash in the background, and then I just saw a plus 17 over smoking M8 carcass. It must yeah, have been really low, though. Yeah. We have fake uh, artillery up now, along with uh, the regular 25-pounder barrage. Gliders coming in on the Nebels in the back. Good use of commandos right there to knock out and get behind the lines and mess things up, but good oh, yeah. suppression. Ooh, but they yeah. Have the, the LMG has given them help. <laughs> Look at the Naples run. Yeah. What I like to do personally is uh, plant grenade uh, demo charges on artillery pieces and pack 38s so that yeah. I decrew, and then as soon as they reman it, I just completely de detonate the thing and it kills everything. It's hilarious. I love Commander Demo Chargers. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have time for that, unfortunately. Yeah, I know. Incoming. Was that Commando Artillery, I think? That was Commando Artillery right there. That was the three-shot, 25-pounder barrage thing. That was the one increased that used in cost. Missions. Yeah. Great hit on the Neville. Look at the British player's base. It's burning. Wow. Huge hit there. 
That's devastating right there. And uh, the WSC unit, the machine gun 30 cal, was knocked out in a direct hit by the Nebel on the neutral building. Ooh, yeah. It's an upgrade upgraded to an uh, HQ, too. Yeah, one thing I think that both the Allied players could work on is waypoints. Because if you look at their uh, their command, their tank depots and things, they all have units queued up outside of the place, but they're not moving them. They're just sitting in the back. They should be uh -huh. closer to the front respond. I think yeah. we had a propaganda war used on those um, on the commandos. Yep. Looks like it. Oh, keep away from the Nebels. Uh-oh, we do have uh, artillery coming in on That's the... Five, yeah. On the... Art <laughs> on the anti-tank piece formerly known as an 88, uh, which is now completely decrewed and in need of serious repair. More artillery! They don't even no, have a line fake. of sight to that. Right. Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that might be uh, 105 howitzer. Because we do have infantry. No, they are, you already dropped that. The American player already used it. That's what. Oh, that's what, what that was. It. Okay. Oh. But here come all the British infantry. I'm amazed he hasn't healed him up though. This could really hurt him if there's another direct Nebel hit on this. Oh, he's got heroic charge. charge on too. That's. Vet two um, or triple or double officer stack. Oh, he's gonna he's steal gonna it. it. Here it comes. Well, if the Cromwell moves, so the yeah. can pass it, they might. Here comes oh, the double great vetted use tanks. Of registered artillery. Great use. It just came down on uh, more units coming into the battle, and it wiped out quite a few uh, British and American soldiers, I think. Great use there. Uh oh, that, that Cromwell's in big trouble. We got a Panzer Shrek team up, too. Here comes real artillery. Real artillery is live. Oh no, oh no. Tank pathing, it's bad. No, get out of there. It's coming down. Roll! All these rifles have to run away, and then the upgraded gun, which has been reduced in cost, hallelujah, has um, hit the field for the Shermans. Ooh, yeah. The Cromwells are just getting destroyed, but we have a Firefly on the way. Whoa, I think I just saw a Ranger. A Ranger just got run over by a Sherman. That's what I saw, too. I have too. never seen that before, ever. I, I think that, that was too? probably just a, an illusion, though. It probably got hit by something else. It did look like it, though. More registered <laughs> artillery. Jeez, this guy's that, using that all, all the tricks in the book, I think. Yeah, that was probably a poor miscalculation, but it's understandable why he did it. Pack that's 38 a, that's on the left is in big trouble. Rangers are yeah, firing that, up in order to take it out. That pack is going to say goodnight. Have you ever One seen thing a I pack or an AT gun on a road? They move ridiculously quickly. That's, that is true, but they, they get the bonus that all vehicles and um, even infantry get on roads, yep. even though they do take double the damage. One thing that uh, I think players need to keep in mind that this player, uh, who is it, Shayot, the guy who went um, defensive, has not forgotten that don't just use registered artillery when the units are capping points. If you see a couple of infantry squads moving past a point that you have, drop registered artillery on him. He'll never be expecting that. That's definitely a helpful thing to keep in mind. Big smoke coming down on the fuel. Oh, and it forces a full retreat. What do we have? Dual mortars from the Axis player? Where are all these mortars coming from? Well, there's Nebels coming down right now. Oh, they're allied. Okay, one is the uh, mortar emplacement yeah. still not dead. Another is the mortar team from the allied player, American player. Where did they move that to now? It's uh, just a little bit north of the house where the M8 went down, you know? Uh -huh, Aha, yep. Right there by the I see it, by the car. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it looks to me like the British got this one completely locked down. They've got two VPs right near the HQ, their forward HQs. They've got mortars covering both of them, which so far the... the Germans have had no luck in, in shutting down at all. Yeah, that is true. Um, I, they do have a firm grip on the north, though, and I think the Allies are moving to push him out right now. But uh, this will this could be... A, if, if the Allies lose this battle here, then this could be a game-changing event. Yeah, they're because trying to this, take out this that next OP. one's going to be really big. And I'm interested to see... If we're going to see... Do we have more Sir munitions? Uh, yep, just barely enough. Excellent. Died in battle. Where was that? Commando artillery dropped on the plus five on the right-hand side. Wiped out, I think, a Pio squad. I'm looking for... Yeah, Pio squad. The Even the this bird's excited. Oh, my God. Of units here. And the Neville Barrage missed, unfortunately, but it is pinning. 
and good use of mines damaged the engine on the Sherman. Unfortunately, the Axis were attack uh, expecting an attack from... Oh, good use of a registered artillery there. Here it comes. Ooh, goodbye, Sapper Squad. Oh, my lord. Good that, use of prop work. That was a lot of infantry charging right into what... Fake squad. Uh-oh. Panther up. Excellent. Excellent. Unfortunately, oh, they've been needing that. I mean, what do we got? One, two... Three, oh, and one of them's command tank, so... Uh-oh, Firefly! Firefly out of control! Right into the shack! Nobody needed that shack anymore anyway, right? One needed it, except for the Firefly. Wanted a... Wanted a home. Wanted... Oh, wow, look at this big push on the right-hand side. I was missing this. There's even an officer, you see that? <laughs> He's just shooting his Luger. The <laughs> command truck goes down! That oh, is wow! Huge. Big, big time push on the right-hand side while, while, the, while the British were pushing on the left. They were not... German officer down, though, in a hail of fire again. Aw, poor guy. We're always rude for the German officer. Uh, the British don't have anything now to take down in tanks. They got, uh, what? They have a bazooka with one of their ranger squads that just showed up, and they have the Sherman with the upgun, but that was all the way on the other side. He's really going to have to rely on his American partner for a little while to get back on his feet. Yeah. Great use of Nebels keeping the enemy off kilter on this uh, plus 10 fuel point where the HQ went down. Look at those Rangers. That dot damage is yeah. devastating. Oh, man. He really needs to retreat him. I mean, that is just KOing the health on him. That's, that's really big. Uh, more commandos are out and taking out another Nebel. Oh, no. Why did he reman it? That's, That's gotta be I mean, annoying. No, I know commandos are cheap, but just, no. Just blow it up. <laughs> well, now maybe he's forcing his, his opponent to blow it up. <laughs> that is true. That is <laughs> definitely something. And he's gonna try and take advantage of the road bonus. Look at those guys move. Oh, no, they stopped. <laughs> what are you stopping for? Oh, because one of the guys died. All right. You see that grenadier dancing in front <laughs> He's like, no, no, you can't go. <laughs> red light, green light, red light, green light. Oh. He killed the grenade. What was that? I don't know what it, I think it was, uh, 88. There's a new 88 up now, uh, just north of the munitions oh. point in the middle. <laughs> that killed that dancing grenadier. He was doing the shuffle. Why'd you have to kill him? Oh. Wow, he that guy's pretty... really excited about his job. <laughs> Did you, you didn't hear it on my side. Go, grenadier's engaging the enemy! I was like, what are you, in an anime? You're powering up? What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, the British are moving back on the right-hand side to try and uh, assert some authority here, but uh, they're a little bit hesitant. They have a lot of low-health units. <laughs> assert some authority. Mm -hmm. Assert some authority. All right. So the we've Germans got... have had a fairly good time lately um, in terms of the battles. They've been they've been winning quite a few. Uh, that prop war was used expertly, and then the Panther coming in to kill the Firefly. That was just textbook counters right there. That, that was very well done. Do another glider that came down? No, no. no. Whole bunch still. of still units. Oh man! Man. Machine wow, gun we have in the middle. Commando squads. Yeah. Oh, Completely. Oh, I mean, it just seems to me all the new powers that they've given, including heroic charge and the smoke ability for the commandos. Um, oh, prop war. Nice use. Just missed right the other the squad, 88. but pretty good. Starts to come down. Oh, that's not good. Didn't kill the crew, though. I feel like machine guns have become next to useless now with all these extra bonus things yeah, that the British agree. have. I wish the 88 was better versus in Oh, we have a demo charge being the laid on the ah. 88. At Go ahead, reman oh. it at your own risk. Go ahead. I'm going to leave it here for you. I'm looking forward to seeing that reman. Boom. Blow it up. Blow it up while all your guys are around it. <laughs> That'd be no Go good, ahead. but look at this. The Ostwind is not having a good time against the Sherman, which is to be expected. There is probably going to be some stepping on toes in that situation. Yeah. Oh, he's going to turn the 88 on the Panther. <laughs> look at that. That's excellent. Oh, no. It's so close to that dead, was... though. I think one Panther shot will kill it. Maybe not. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna blow it now. Just wait for it, wait for it. Uh, did Excellent. he not notice? Even, oh! An AOE hit, he'd even killed the flamer pile. Yeah. That's crazy. I guess he didn't notice. 
Oops, Doug just knocked out a 76 mil uh, Sherman and then got mm. knocked out itself. That mortar emplacement's still up, Bridger. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Very angry. Almost as angry as I am at Vista. <laughs> For notes on that, see the audio show this week. All right. Look at this. Okay, we have a lot of we have registered coming down on the Ooh. VP in the middle. But that it's miss. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say it's missing the VP. It's all going north. But uh, yeah, now it stopped it. Yeah, I think that's a walking stupid. Yep, Pretty walking sure stupid coming is. down, and I hear other artillery too. Oh, that's 25 pounder artillery right on the Panther. Direct hit on the Panther. Another, another Sherman just went down. And unfortunately, a Pack 38's. Okay, good, it's just fake smoke. But the Pack 38 still, you know, bites the dust. Oh no, that was a Howie. That wasn't a, that wasn't a 25 pounder, oh, that was a howitzer. There it is, I see it, yeah. And somehow the Germans yeah. snuck along the right-hand side to decap that as well. They've been doing that a lot. I've noticed uh, they keep sending, like, stugs. They crawl them up right along the right-hand side of the map, and they are used to devastating effect. That's how he got the uh, the HQ truck. That's how he killed it. All right, so it's sort of a standoff got? right now. Here come the commandos, shut down by two machine guns <laughs> trying to decap in the smoke. That's actually not allowed in uh, in the patch. I believe that was one of the changes, right? Commandos can't do anything while they're camoed. They can't throw grenades anyway. I, I, uh -oh. I don't think they can't do anything camoed now. Well, yeah, they can't cap anymore camoed. They can't is, throw uh, grenades awesome. either. The, the grenade yeah, they, and the camo share awesome. the same timer now. That's excellent. I'm really happy about that. I feel that like change. we're talking about... Uh, oh, what the hell is the officer doing? Oh, he's going to do a prop war again. Well done. Well done, Lieutenant. The cheap there prop war. Anyway. Nice. We have more mortars coming in. This is just ridiculous how well the Allies have used mortars. Just constant harassment. And... I've dropped on the Whoa. grads in the middle. That's big. More command... No, that's a... That's a... No. That is definitely a... And the Osmond... Oh! The glide. Killed it! Empire. Goodbye. That is how you, you do go. it. That's that's one of the problems in trying to get your glider to auto kill stuff. Oh man. Yeah, don't drop gliders in the middle of Osmans next time. <laughs> I guess not. They managed to shoot it all the way down. It actually blew off the wing on the first shot. That was interesting. I like. I wonder if it takes more damage landing when that happens. It probably does. Oh my god, these rangers are firing up trying to chase down the retreating grenadier squad, and it almost You're worked. Knights <laughs> cross. Knights cross with inspired assault. Just keep dancing around, though. I don't know if they're. Oh, it looks like they're gonna do some good here. I love those 44s. Grenade yeah. out. Nice dodge. Pro, very pro. Nicely done. Survived with all three members intact. Could really use a, a health kit on them, though. That's one yeah. of the positions where it's really worth it. Oh, you can even see the shadows of this walking Stuka shooting like 10 meters away. Oh my god. That is so accurate right there. That is devastating. It almost like a they walking barrage. They're not going to get that VP back. The Axis are definitely going to hang on to that with everything they have. They have to. They don't have a choice. <laughs> uh, let's see. What could the... Okay. We have... The British are basically reeling right now. They've set up their HQ. They're reinforcing, and uh, they should be sent north to heal at the casualty clearing, but... I don't think he wants to spend the munis. He's only got 132. Gren's on the right harassing. Yep, following them right now. They might get a nice grenade off on this uh, mortar. I think that's what we're going to see first. Oh, they're trying. But, oh, that's a lot of firepower. <laughs> they're going to have to retreat. Commandos. Ooh. Commandos, commandos, commandos. And here's a level 2 panther to say hello. Not much they have that can fight against that. Well, they can try, but... How effective that will be or not. Oh, we have a firefly coming up. There we go. There's your counter. <laughs> and a machine gun to help against those grants. Oh, man. That's a devastating first I wouldn't right push there. it that close. Yeah. Yeah, pull it back. Fucking Stukas are nailing the fuel by the VP. That's crazy. I think a whole squad of riflemen was desolated right there. Oh, Vet 2 Knights Cross. That's devastating, too. We're talking that about is, devastating. Uh, Here they, they have come. an LMG, too. <laughs> they stole an LMG, but they're running around instead of just attacking. I know, so they're not able to use it. <clears throat> yeah. 
What do we have on the right hand side five here? Youth spot, unfortunately. I wonder if it's still on cooldown. It may be. Artillery being dropped on the VP in the middle. Direct hit on the Knight's Cross. They got out of there just Ooh. in time. Oh. Wow, very, very hurt. Definitely gonna need uh, to hold on to that squad for a little while. I think the American used Sherman's very well. He's doing a he's doing a good job with his uh, 76 mils. They're really helping the Brit hold the right hand side. I think the British could put up a few trenches, and they are right now. And then maybe pop some Rangers in there, some Flamer or NGs, and nothing the Axis have will be able to counter that. Commanders are going for the VP again. And that uh, howitzer's falling in the backfield here. Yeah, I see that. It's going for the... Oh, here come the Stuka again, on the, probably on the middle VP. It's going to eliminate the whole squad. Bam, bam, bam. Whole squad is... And he got retreated by the officer. Oh, that wasn't good. You would have been able to kill him. Yeah. It was kind of funny, you know. Your whole squad's dead. Now run away! <laughs> Maybe that's was that's the propaganda that he gave to them. <laughs> and there's oh, another and one. That was the real prop war. Oh, but here comes regular artillery. Oh no! Oh, it's fake. And he falls for it. That's 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 good use right there. Whoa! That was just a regular mortar though. Yeah, it was. Maybe they could run that Ostwind in there and kill the mortar. Do it! Do it! He, he could probably get the 105 if he wanted to go for that. I mean, how close are we to the 280 uh, millimeter mortar rocket barrage thing? Oh, he's had it for a little while, actually, but they've been using a lot of uh, registered artillery. Yeah, that's true. Another firefly up for the British player. Now, it seems to me that both pl both players are being a little bit skittish. I mean, we've got a firefly over here, we've got commandos, we've got rangers... Um, we've got um, infantry section. What else do we have? And they're all Another, just hanging back. Yeah, Sherman over here. We've got the howitzer. Another that firefly. Death critical to this game right now. It has 28 kills. 28. Which one? <laughs> uh, the walking Stuka. Oh wow. <laughs> kills because he just keeps killing anything that hits the VP. <laughs> But, yeah. I mean, I, I think the Allied players are justified in sitting around because they really don't have to do a lot. They have the VP advantage heavily, so they can just sit on their asses all day long and just camp that, drop artillery and anything that drops by. I'm surprised we haven't seen a 25-pounder, but with the 105, you don't really need it. Um, but the Axis players are the ones who need to be aggressive here, and they, they have been doing a good job recently. And we're probably going to see another walking Stuka barrage maybe on the middle VP. They Panther definitely need scouting to. out the British starting position. That's interesting. And we have two Shermans coming for it. <laughs> that Whoa. looks intimidating. Yeah, what is he scouting it for? What the... Is he going know. for a Maybe. rocket barrage? I mean, it's not really going to do much. Yeah, that's true. The rocket barrage doesn't do much against uh, British. But there's nothing there to do anything against either. Check it out. KHC raid on the uh, 105. Look at that. Ooh. That's an excellent work right there. That there goes one level of that. That's a good job right there. If only commit. If only uh, KHC could plant demo charges, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. And he prop ward the commandos. Ooh. I don't know what the point of that was because there's <laughs> their headquarters is right there. Oh no! But he lost with squad already. It was worth it. He knocked out the 105. He forced the uh, the firefly because he was right on the other side, so it fired. It crushed it. Fired. Oh, it fired yeah, no, it and hit it. it. Fired up the uh, 105 and killed it. Wow. So that's great for the Vermont player. Less artillery to worry about. Now these guys and in the trench are Two just chilling. Are firing on a trench, no oh damage yeah. Being done. No damage being done, of course. Tanks can't hit in the trenches. Bah. Why would they be able to do that? They really should be able to. It, even if they can't damage the thing in the trench, tanks should be able to destroy trenches. Just for yeah. balance purposes. I don't care if it's not realistic. I think they need to be able to destroy trenches because they're they're your main, you know, defensive spearhead destroyer. You know, you, you build a tank to get you through defensive locations in the game. And it works for every type of defensive location except the trench. It's the yeah. only thing that requires you to use uh, uh, flamethrowers. There's nothing else in the game that can only be defeated by flamethrowers. Yeah, the right-hand side is going to get messy for the Axis with the uh, big armored push that the Allies are sporting right now. 
I don't think the Axis player realizes it, seeing as he has his Vet 2 Panther, which might die ass first facing uh, two Fireflies. <laughs> oh, what kind oh, of. Oh, here comes the rocket. Yep, Rocket Barrage. Oh, uh, where Could is be it devastating. Going? Ooh, got, it, got a bit on the command truck. It might be enough to change the, the battle, but I don't think so. Yep, yep. Panther got yep. the uh, first Firefly with no health left. Wow, I don't think that would have happened. Could the Osman kill a level 2 command tank? Is it humanly possible? <laughs> oh, but, oh no, he's only level 1 vet. I was, is that another? What the hell is that? That was a walking, that was a walking Stuka. Stuka? Did that just kill the command truck too? Wow, it the command did. tank. Kill the command tank. No, it was an 88. Oh! <laughs> it must have, one of them was an 88, but I think there were, uh, maybe it was a Stuka too. Let me check here. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, does the Stuka have a tank kill? Uh, no, it must have been the no, 88. No, it does not. Yeah, the 88's got two kills. Okay, there you go. There was a commando glider that landed right on top of the BP for somehow. <laughs> Just nicely placed the wings. Great retreat on the Rangers. Did you see that Bridger in the middle? To help him win the tank battle here with the Panthers against the... Oh, more the prop war? Yeah. He used a great uh, prop war there. That was a good retreat there. Oh man, the left hand side is falling also. Really gonna, oh wow, nice little ninja here on the top, in the top, stealing the VP. But they're gonna get it back, they're gonna get it back fairly quickly, probably. And this trench here on the right hand side is giving the axes a lot of trouble. Just throw a grenade in there. Yep, he's doing it right now. Will it do anything? No, it overshoots. A little bit, Only but I mean, guys. seriously, this should not be this hard to kill a trench. Not when two tanks There's were already a pounding on it. Moving away really, really fast with a damaged gun. Oh, look at it. What do you think it's the allies sad. need to do to hang on to the middle? Looks right like a now? sad elephant. You think they they should build some trenches or something? Trenches are overpowered. Ah, crap, Bridger. I'm pausing at the 45, 37 minute mark. I think. So. Yep. And we're back. We have punished the German for. Destroying us. All right, did you unpause it? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, we're gonna unpause in three, two, one. Unpause. There we go. Okay, so we're back here, and you were asking me what the. Uh, oh no! British lost their uh, their casualty clearing station there. That was bad news. What could they do? I mean, right now they have been pushed royally back by Panthers and Knights Cross. It looks like is the main Game thing. Next. Yep. The game changers, plus the uh, the walking Stuka, as you mentioned, with its 29 kills. And here comes fake and real artillery in the middle. I think I think it's just fake. No, real artillery as well. You dropped it twice. Five. I saw it coming down twice. Okay. I mean, the, it seems like the ac the allies have enough combined arms to do it, but it just seems like they're struggling to figure out where to fight where to put all their units because it seems like they're breaking up their units and that's really hurting them and uh, they have a ranger squad and a rifle squad idle at the British starting position for some reason probably just a casual mistake yeah that's weird I wonder why they th brought them back there two fireflies are gonna KO this Osman here the Osman actually has 10 infantry kills somehow wow pretty impressive but uh, I'm surprised these AT guns haven't been of more use I mean I remember seeing it shoot once uh oh you're gonna unload a commando squad into two double vet knights cross and an Ostwin. You've gotta be kidding me, son. Don't worry, they've got fake smoke. <laughs> they've they've got that uh that free smoke ability. <laughs> yeah. Fine. But it's not working anymore. Yeah. That's five hundred manpower down the drain. Holy crap. Essentially, yeah. Meanwhile, the right hand side's having a big push. See, these AT guns that are sitting in the middle could be used so much more effectively on the right here. Agreed, Just force agreed, those agreed. Uh, Panthers to get back out of the way. This prop war must be really infuriating for the American and British player right now. They're just, they get in a certain position, and the second they're about to make some gain, they just like, well, goodbye. <laughs> Go away. Yeah, they had two anymore. medium munitions points OP'd at some point in the game. They already lost one, though. Yeah. The 88 is probably posing a big challenge as well to push is, forward yeah. in the middle. A definite deterrent, yeah, definitely. I don't know, it just looks like the American and British players have fallen apart. 
Yeah. AT Gun's gonna go down to pursuing Knight's Cross. Nice work there. Is he gonna reman it? With oh Knight's Cross? no! He is. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an extremely tough to kill AT gun now. <laughs> that is hilarious. For once, the third man is going to be useful. <laughs> that's funny. I like that. We have uh, the smoke being used, but it ain't going to stop registered artillery. <laughs> no, it's not. That Holy crap, be. another 500 manpower down the drain. I don't know if they just called that in, but, uh, yowch. No, I think they brought him up from the HQ, yeah. This has been a stunning little comeback from the Axis players here, I must say. Those units are still idle at the, uh, British starting position for some reason. Losing a sector. And, I mean, I've just been watching this game and noticing how useless the machine guns are every single time. Yeah. They set up a machine gun, and either rangers just kind of run past it with the with, with their ability, or you see the heroic charge force their way by it, or the commandos just get out of it with smoke. It's like every piece of artillery, or every piece of infantry that the Americans and British wind up using, they use it because it's perfectly machine gun resistant. It doesn't get suppressed. Yeah. I think the machine guns need to do more damage Flat up, they just need to do more damage to units. To make it more... Uh, oh, yeah, no! Be, well, oh, right on the retreat path, too. That's big. More kills for the walking Stuka. <laughs> I don't even know what they were doing up there. They've already got the point capped. But, uh... I actually wouldn't mind seeing, like, an upgrade for the MG42 that... Maybe not like an upgrade, but an ability that becomes active. Uh-oh. Is this real smoke? Like a passive ability? When it no, fires? no, but you know how you have, like, armor-piercing rounds that the yeah. other ones give? I'd give some kind of buff to the suppressive power of it, a temporary yeah. thing so that you can use, you know, you can pay, like, you know, 25 munitions or whatever to add to the suppressive fire of it, and it only becomes available at, like, Tier 3. Interesting. Or even support level vet. That's how they could work it in, too. Could be support level vet, yeah. I mean, anything that would make it more useful in those situ situations so that you could, you know, counter somebody's, uh, you know, fire up or something. I don't know. Maybe that's a bad idea because it makes fire up useless, but... I just, I just think uh, fire up is too good, and it being free, um, it just counters a unit that is essential to the Wehrmacht early, mid, and even it can be even essential to the late game too. I, I just think it's too good at countering uh, an essential unit in the Wehrmacht tree. I think that machine guns need to do way more damage and uh, possibly oh. pin faster. Artillery coming down on the fuel. Yeah, that could be really difficult, though, for the flanking game and stuff. They've already buffed yeah. machine guns a little bit and give them more suppression power, which That's true. passively gives them more pinning power. We'll have to see. I Whoa. Would, I'd be interested to see how this How did we just lose that? Is that a panther? Play. Yeah, because he had two AT guns AP firing. Oh, on. yeah, way down over here. Yeah, by the train tracks. We have a level three officer, so level three. Level three does the officer yet. fall under support vet? No, infantry. It must be infantry, because I don't, I don't think they've got support vet. But there's our knight's cross armed AT gun, and another propaganda war. Oh man, I think that's all this guy's using his resources for. You're not going to see any. They're just loading munitions, are they? Uh, I don't know anything about the terror player because I can't see him. But we've got 186 munitions for the. Uh, for the player I'm following here, the defensive player. But he's got plus 70 income. How do they have plus 70? I don't know. They've got one OP, another OP, and another OP. That's how. <laughs> that 88 still up. Sort of like last ditch efforts here in the middle with the Rangers trying to stop the VT, VP yeah. ticker. See, like, look at that MG firing at it now. That that should be slaughtering those guys. They should just be ripped to pieces. Yeah, they still got half their health. Yeah, they, they only lost, I think, a guy. <laughs> That's unacceptable. I mean, it seems like it does plenty of damage when, it, when, when there's, like, three squads. It'll kill, like, six guys almost instantaneously. But when it's only yeah. firing at one squad, which is most of the time, it's yeah. sort of ineffectual when you're talking about, like, rangers and yeah. commandos and uh 
What do you need? Anything Look else? Look at the range on that 88. Jeez. All the way south of the trench um, at the southern VP, it hit the command tank. That was crazy. That is one of the things that makes the 88 awesome, but it's also stationary and very vulnerable to artillery of any kind. And so far, though, it's been able to survive because they haven't been able to get line of sight on it. And they lost that howitzer they'd had earlier. Yeah. Another commando squad was almost wiped out at the VP. It seems like they're throwing in another prop war used by the officer. It seems like they're using all their units to just throwing them into a meat grinder constantly, hoping that they can get the VPs down, but they haven't gone down past 89 in the last, like, 15 minutes of gameplay, so it seems like they're really throwing all these units into the meat grinder for nothing. Have you noticed that? Yeah. I don't know, I think they need to make a concentrated push, and it feels like they're attacking the middle yeah. and the right, like, alternate, alternating. Like, they're attacking the right, the British player attacks the right, then the American player attacks the middle, then vice versa. Oh no! Oh, he just killed that squad building the trench. Infantry section down. And they're calling GG on that. Great use of artillery. Great use. Oh yeah, how many freaking kills does that walking Stuka? 35 on the walking Stuka, 35. one kill, and one building kill. Three tank oh, kills? It, it got the uh, mortar in place. Wait a minute. Walking What's that? Oh, they're going to drop it by the uh, southern British base. Look at this. The American base? I'm looking. Running. They're running. Oh, say goodnight. Ooh, and it took out a panther. <laughs> <laughs> The 88 had three indeed. tank kills, I think. Friendly fire indeed. Three tank kills. We had a we had a Nebel over here with not much. Probably the <laughs> the Nebels that actually had kills were were way over there. Yeah. Wow. Well, I, that was a hell of a match, though. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, one. pretty that damn a... good comeback for the Germans. It looked like uh, it was all over early mm -hmm. in the game, but they finally killed that mortar pit. I think that's what turned it around. <laughs> it must have been, Bridger. It must have been. Yeah. So GG to both teams. The best of the rest. And the rest of the rest. And the rest of the best. And we haven't figured out what we're going to call it, but it's some combination of the aforementioned. All right. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to Tales of Heroes episode number 64. 64. That's right. Listen yep. to the audio show. we got a great audio show for you this week. And we've also got uh, a great video show for you, which you just watched. So head on over to tales.gamefire.com and check out the audio show and uh, send us some money. A buck a show, it's all we ask. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. We're out. For Rogers, I am Bridger and the Gamefire.com community. Thanks.